Formula One design legend Adrian Newey could depart Red Bull with speculation rife he wants to leave and potentially make a sensational move to a rival team. We thought 2024 had gone early with its biggest silly season bombshells when we scrambled to cover the news of Lewis Hamilton's shock switch from Mercedes to Ferrari for 2025. But this would be momentous in its own right and arguably even more so for F1's competitive picture given Red Bull's current strength. Nui has been a cornerstone of Red Bull's rise to being one of F1's best teams and its current domination of the new ground effect era. Leaving Red Bull would mark the end of an era that even surpasses Hamilton's time and success at Mercedes and beg the question of where he goes next and the seismic impact that could have on F1 if he did join a rival team. Nui F1 cars have won a combined total of 25 drivers and constructors championships across three different teams in an extraordinary career. 13 of those have come with Red Bull and who would bet against two more being added to the tally this season. Nui's been at Red Bull Racing since joining from McLaren in 2006 and having taken on different responsibilities including engaging in non-F1 projects in that time is currently the team's chief technical officer. Nui's place at the team has seemed uncertain for a while though. He seemed to be at risk of Red Bull phasing out his involvement and more recently the scandal engulfing the team's leader Christian Horner has emerged as a concern. There are now reports that Nui has informed Red Bull of his intention to leave. All Red Bull has said officially is that Adrian is contracted until at least the end of 2025 and we are unaware of him joining any other team. Though that leaves obvious wiggle room for Nui wanting to leave or even informing senior figures at Red Bull of his intention to do so, it is an interestingly specific reference to the length of Nui's contract and to the notion of him moving to a rival. To stay in F1 and prepare for the new car rules in 2026, Nui would need to negotiate a shorter period of gardening leave that allows him to work at another team next year. Red Bull's indicating that will not be possible, and confirming Nui's contract runs until at least the end of 2025 implies there are mechanisms in Nui's deal that could prevent him from working elsewhere for even longer. For example, if the end of 2025 is the earliest that a period of gardening leave would begin, that would mean not working for another team until 2027. But maybe Nui has an ace up his sleeve to change that, and if push comes to shove, there would presumably be nothing Red Bull can do to stop Nui simply retiring. Really though, what matters here is the suggestion that Nui wants to leave, and there's no smoke without fire. Nui is understood to be unimpressed with the situation around Horner who has been in the spotlight for months over allegations made by a female member of staff. Red Bull's parent company ordered an investigation into claims Horner was inappropriate and controlling to a woman who worked for him. Upon that investigation's completion, Red Bull GmbH declared the grievance had been dismissed and Horner remained in his position, but senior F1 officials, others in the paddock and many fans have been left unimpressed by how Red Bull handled the entire situation. Privately, Nui is believed to have had his own concerns, and this seems to be an important factor in deciding if he wants to be part of the team longer term. It's not helped that since the Horner allegations came to light, a deep-rooted Red Bull power struggle has been publicly exposed. Horner's faced off against Jos Verstappen, the father of Red Bull star driver Max Verstappen, and had issues with Red Bull motorsport advisor Helmut Marko, who has effectively run the team alongside Horner since its inception. Marko signed a new contract with Red Bull over the winter, having looked vulnerable towards the end of 2023. He's a key figure for the Verstappens, and it's been felt more than once that there was pressure from Horner's Milton Keynes side of Red Bull to force Marko out. Beyond that is the issue of greater control being sought by Red Bull in Austria, led by senior executive Oliver Mintzlaff, and a possible clash between the leadership there and Red Bull's Thai co-owning Uvidya family, which is on Horner's side. Nui, apolitical by nature, has always been assumed to be disinterested in such machinations. And his greater concern would be that the team splitting into factions would limit its competitive potential, at a time when he has less of a personal desire to remain at Red Bull than ever. Nui is the single most important signing in Red Bull's history and Horner was a key part of pulling that off. Nui wrote in his memoir that he and Horner shared the same ideology for Red Bull Racing and it has always been felt that Horner was key to keeping Nui happy and engaged in the F1 team. That involved giving him the freedom to pursue different projects and be as involved as he wanted on his own terms. For instance, the Red Bull RB17 hypercar is a project Nui is greatly involved in and seems sincerely excited about when that was announced in 2022. But more recently, it's been suggested that Horner's key to wanting Nui out of F1 and focused on the RB17 project entirely, possibly to keep Ferrari target Pierre Vachet on board longer term. 
Red Bull's technical structure has changed over the years in no small part to accommodate Nui's shifting involvement. As part of that, Horner promoted Vache to technical director, made him a more prominent spokesperson and stressed how Vache has led a team that isn't dependent on Nui's genius alone. Horner had even characterized it as a machine that let Nui move in and out as he pleased. Nui is known to have felt he was much more influential than perhaps given credit for and wants a role that doesn't carry the same risk of being marginalized. Assuming Nui's intention is not to retire, he would be highly coveted by rival F1 teams. He's been linked with moves to Ferrari and Aston Martin already this year. Ferrari is pushing aggressively to end its long title drought and has signed Lewis Hamilton from Mercedes to partner Charles Leclerc for 2025. Nui has publicly lamented the fact that he hasn't worked with the likes of Ferrari, Hamilton or Fernando Alonso. A move to Maranello would tick off two of those in one go, with Nui having turned down big approaches from Ferrari in the past. But Ferrari's been linked with Red Bull technical director Vache since last year and there are rumours that team boss Fred Vasseur hasn't given up that chase. Vache and Red Bull head of aerodynamics Enrico Balbo were speculated to be Ferrari targets early last year and it was Horner who quelled that, insisting that conversations had been had with both and that they were happy. Meanwhile, another of Nui's borderline regrets, not working with Alonso, could be tackled with a move to the ambitious Aston Martin team. That has been spending a lot of money to assemble a powerhouse technical setup and will take over Red Bull's works Honda engine deal for 2026, with Alonso signed up for at least the first year of those new rules. Moving there would allow Nui to stay in the UK, so it seemed to tick several boxes. Aston Martin recently denied it had made Nui an offer to join Lawrence Stroll's organisation, stating it was satisfied with its current technical structure. One of Nui's former protégés, Dan Fallows, is Aston Martin's technical director, and putting him back in Nui's shadow may be best avoided, while the role of chief technical officer already exists for long-time Team Silverstone man Andrew Green. Aston Martin also recently hired ex-Mercedes man Bob Bell from Alpine as executive director to effectively lead its 2026 car project. But where Nui fits in may matter less than Aston Martin simply having the opportunity to get him, so it could be a case of signing him and working out a structure later. The eruption of this Nui speculation is a fresh blow to Red Bull that ends a short period of respite from the incessant scrutiny that had dogged the first few weeks of the season. The Horner saga erupted earlier this year during car launch season and was the dominant storyline through testing and the first two race weekends. Little has changed in that narrative since then, which meant as Red Bull continued to dominate on track, its F1 team was back in the headlines for the right reasons. This changes things, and as a fractured Red Bull leadership had already left rivals smelling blood, it will likely be talked about for a while yet. Mercedes boss Toto Wolff has tried to flirt with the Verstappens at every turn, very publicly pushing a narrative that Max could be tempted to leave if Red Bull risks imploding. The most serious threat to Verstappen's place at Red Bull seemed to be Marco when Verstappen made it clear his own future was tied to the Austrians. But Verstappen also said it was vital that Red Bull's key pillars remain in place, and knew he must be considered one of them unless the Verstappen camp feels Vache is the most significant technical figure after all. If Vache remains of interest to Ferrari though, and speculation does persist that he could still move there, then Red Bull could be at risk of all its major assets being picked away at. Plus, Nui departing could easily have the knock-on effect of making others in the team question their futures. Even if it was only Nui that left, pushed through the exit door through a range of factors that had left him feeling Red Bull Racing isn't what it once was, it's still Nui that would be leaving. Few individuals have ever had his influence, and even fewer have sustained that influence for so long. He is widely regarded as the greatest F1 designer of all time for a reason. Losing that alone would be enough for this team to no longer be Red Bull as we know it.